Hello everybody, <coughs> Bev here, and this should be the final instalment of my um, my Vinyl Beginnings uh, series, if you want to call it. <laughs> this will be the, the third part, um, which I said would feature the vinyl albums that I <coughs> got back in the beginnings of when I started to collect records. Um, now as I said, the, the, there's not a lot. <coughs> um, when I first started out with uh, the records collecting, um, it was mostly singles that were the main focus, you know, it was songs you liked in the charts at the time. Really, that was the, the, the main thing. Um, and then back in 87, 88, Def Leppard uh, and Bon Jovi were <coughs> two bands that I was really into. Um, and basically Def Leppard went on to become my favourite band at that time. Um, so um, they'll be showing up <coughs> in this video basically very briefly but uh, some of the first albums that I got were basically Christmas presents again. Um, I would have gotten probably one of them um, on the first year, perhaps, that I got my hi-fi, along with the singles for Belinda Carlisle and the Hooters. Um, and it was the chart albums. My brother would get the hits albums, and I got the now albums. So the first one I've got to show is Now 10. Uh, these came down from the attic. Um, they're always double albums, uh, gatefolds, with uh, a selection of the greatest charts hits from the time and and there you get obviously a brief bit about what the songs are for each of the the groups or the artists um, these are in pretty decent condition um, on this one you've got Billy Idol's Money Money, Crazy Crazy Nights Kiss, um, China In Your Hand to Pow, to name a few, um, here I go again, White Snake's on here, uh, so yeah, Bananarama, Love in the First Degree, so now 10 was the first one I got, <coughs> and then I think it was kind of a, a sort of yearly thing for a couple of years, now 11, um, again, um, again, double albums, and on this one, you've got the first two songs is Always On My Mind by the Pet Shop Boys. I'm pretty sure that was the Christmas number one in 87. Memory serves me right. And Heaven Is A Place On Earth is the end of 1987 as well, so the first two now albums there would be probably what I would get um, for that. You know, as my first albums, if you like, and again, you've got the similar inner sleeves but about each artist. So, yeah, um, what else have we got here? We've got Tower of Strength by The Mission. Um, try to see if there's any rock guys in here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Billy Idol's on again, Hot in the City. Um, Rise to the Occasion by Climey Fisher, Jewel of Taxi by Vanessa Paradis, I know my brother loved that song. Um, Give Me All Your Love by White Snakes on this one. <coughs> so, next up is Now Twelve. <laughs> Same again. This is 1988, this one. And some of the ones worth noticing, notable ones in here is um, Iron Maiden, Can I Play With Madness. That's the song that kind of got me into them. Um, I know a lot of Iron Maiden fans aren't big on that, but that's a very important song to me. <coughs> and I like it. <coughs> so yeah, These Dreams Hurt. Um, Theme from S Express, S Express, Doctor and the Tardis by the Time Lords. You've got Circle in the Sand on here by Belinda Carline. Um, 
etc. <coughs> and the last now album I got <coughs> is now 13. And once again, same. And on here, anyone, you've got Kim Wilde on here with He Came. The, the Human League, Love is All That Matters. He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother by The Holmes. There's Hands to Heaven by Breathe. Um, I mentioned in my earlier video that they were the support act when I saw Belinda Carolina. <coughs> Level 42. Uh, yeah. So that's that. <coughs> so these were, you know, obviously my introductions to vinyl. And then the first record I got from a band because I really liked the songs I was hearing from them. But this time, I had heard a couple, two or three of the songs, I think, and asked Dad if he would go and get me the album. Um, <clears throat> I never bought the singles um, at the time because I had the album, so therefore I had all the songs on the album. So at that time, I didn't feel the need to buy any singles with this band. And, um, you probably know what it is, but <clears throat> it's Def Leppard's Hysteria. And this is my original 1987 pressing. Dad brought it in for me and I remember taking the, the shrink wrap off it and I think it had a, sink, a sticker, something about animal on here. <coughs> um, and I've kept it in very good condition. There's a few signs of wear, but um, this is the original. As anyone else that's got this will know, it's just a single record. And with the inner sleeve. So, you know. And I absolutely loved this album. I was thrilled to bits to have it. So this was the first album I got by any kind of rock band on vinyl. And I absolutely adored it. And then after that, um, I got another couple of albums. Um, I, I got Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet. Because I was, I, was, I was kind of into both of them. And at the time, it was, it was kind of a... Who do I prefer, you know, but it kind of went back and forth for Bon Jovi to Def Leppard. Um, slippery when wet, the original dressing. <coughs> and I think I got, this, I got this in 88, you know, not long after it was released. Um, and I, when I heard Bad Medicine, I thought I like that song. So, And then just a few more of the songs when they came out. Um, so I asked if I could get this one. I can't remember if I got it as a Christmas present or if it was just any random time. <coughs> and then I think it was around about 1989 when I first heard a song from Pyromania. Um, and I think it would be photograph. It was a clip from photograph on the BBC documentary that uh, was made in 89 and it aired in, very, in January 1990, it aired on BBC Two. So it must have been 1990 actually when I got Pyromania. I heard a clip from Photograph which was showing that and I thought, oh, I like the sound of that as well. Um, so I gathered some pocket money and went off to get this album. So this was my second Def Leppard album. Again, this is an original pressing, um, I think. 1983, yeah, it will be. Vertigo and Pyromania has a fantastically exciting inner sleeve, as everybody knows. It's the red. <coughs> and the, uh, yeah, the original. Uh, this one has the spaceship Vertigo label. And I got one other album a little bit later as well. There's another band I went to see when they came to Edinburgh Playhouse. It'd be around 1990 or, I don't know, 91, 92, something. And they're a Scottish band, Runwig. Um, and I got this album. Um, this, it's got some really good songs on it. Um, and I first discovered that I liked them after there was a... 
a live uh, concert documentary on the TV about them and I decided after watching that that they sounded amazing. They're sort of a kind of a um, folk Celtic rock um, run rig. Some songs they sing in English, others they sing, they sing in the native Gaelic language. Um, and this is Once in a Lifetime and it was live at, um, I think it was, this was recorded live at the Barrowlands in Glasgow. Um, I don't know if you can see the track listing too well there, but some of the titles are in uh, Gaelic as well here. But you've got Dance Called America, it's got an amazing bit of guitar in that song. It was the opening track. And they hail from northern Scotland at the Highlands and Islands. <coughs> so um, that is the sum total of my original vinyls from back in the beginning. And one other uh, thing I wanted to show in this video. Um, I won this on a, a radio competition. Um, our local radio station, Radio 4, uh, used to have um, a weekly rock and metal show. And it would be on a Saturday night, and it was about a three hour show, it was kind of similar to the Tommy Vance's rock show thing. Um, and local radio stations did have such things back in those days, but no longer. So I entered a competition to win a 12 inch picture disc, and to my amazement, I actually won. And this was the song, this was the single I won at the time uh, Extremes Get the Funk Out. And it's got previously unreleased track, Nice Place to Visit. Um, so this is the original sleeve that I got it in as well. And the record's not been played very much, but I did play it and I, I quite like the artwork with this little rebel looking chap here. A uh, picture of the band on the other side. So yeah. Uh, and I was thrilled to bits at the time because I really liked this song. <coughs> so I was delighted to win that. So that is the sum total of my early days final collection and that's where it all began and because I don't have too many albums uh, on vinyl around this time as I said earlier as well, CDs were coming in and I think that's why I kind of switched to CDs at the time because, you know, the, it was all this talk of this amazingly crystal clear, crispy digital audio sound. Uh, and <clears throat> being young at the time, you know, you're always into the newest, latest technology, etc. So, yeah. And I can tell you, um, the first CD I ever got was bought by my mum <laughs> for me. And it was Too Many Broken Hearts by Jason Donovan. <laughs> and I no longer have that CD. It went in the bucket long ago. I didn't even think I would get anything for it on eBay, so I didn't bother trying. So that's long gone. But at the time, I kind of liked him as well. So. so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you in another video. Have a good day.